So, this isn't so much about the um, sizzle reel that got uh, that got revealed. Um, this isn't so much the sizzle sizz, sizzle reel from uh, goddamn autofocus of um, Obi Wan. This is more like get, kind of giving my further thoughts on the Obi Wan TV show. It's kind of what we're really going to be talking about here. Is more about the Obi Wan TV show and just kind of um, just kind of going through like what like what we're kind of seeing here. Now it is officially confirmed, although we did know this from directly from Kathleen Kennedy. Sorry, just my glasses are completely fucked. Um, it was revealed that Hayden Christensen is coming back as Darth Vader. Now, um, he is coming back as Vader and he will and Christensen will be in the suit and we are getting what we what we they were teased at, a direct fight from between Obi Wan and Vader. Which I'm really excited for because it's gonna give a whole new meaning to that line in You should not have come back, old man. It's like, now there's a little more meaning to that. And also, I really ho this is the one Star Wars show, above all others, that I've been really excited for. Most, and I know, I've always said that Star Wars needs to continue, needs to change and evolve with new characters and not so much depend on the past and nostalgia, because that nostalgia oasis is going to dry up at some point. So, and But on the other hand, Obi-Wan was a story. Of all the legacy characters, Obi-Wan was one of the few characters who had a real story to tell um, post-Revenge of the Sith. Now, I think they said that this is going to be like, five, like four or five years. I think it's either five to ten years after Revenge of the Sith. And it's Obi-Wan it's, uh, Obi back out in the in the deserts of, of Tatooine and we see him just going through the motions of uh, live, like living out his life and this is going to also show that yeah now he now Obi-Wan knows that that Anakin is Vader and this I really hope is what explains what get, what made Obi-Wan give up on Anakin because that whole line at the end is like you are my brother Anakin like, how do we go from you were my brother, Anakin, to there's nothing left of him? Like, um, and also the line where Padme's like, I, there's still good in Anakin. Like, this could really be, like, what I'm really hoping for is this duel between Obi-Wan and Vader is just a straight up, like, this is the moment where Obi-Wan goes, there's nothing left of him. There is nothing left of, Obi of, uh, of Anakin in that metal monstrosity. Also, it's really cool to have Hayden Christensen back. I've talked about this before. I was like, I really think it's cool. Um, I really do think it's cool that Hayden Christensen is coming back to play Vader. I am beyond ecstatic for that. Um, I never really had a pro I don't. I never got the hate for Christensen as Vader. I never understood it. I never hated him. I mean, what? It's more. It's more the direction. I feel like Lucas's direction, and I don't think it was his fault because if you can get like Erin McGregor and Samuel Jackson delivering delivering really wooden lines, yeah. There's also the Star Wars fandom was really overhyped in its hatred for him because yeah, Attack of the Clones is not a good movie, um, but uh, I don't think Christensen deserves all of the hate. There was nothing you could have like. I don't know, I just never hated him as vehemently as people have. And I'm glad that there are people out there, sane people, who are happy that Kristen's coming back and getting to be a part of the Star Wars fandom again. And I really, like, I always, whenever I think of that, I always think of that, that moment in Star Wars, on in uh, Star Wars Day, you know, at Star Wars Expos from Disney, um, when Hayden Christensen came back and he was always, like, like just kind of, like, worried about being around the fans. But the fans were, like, giving him standing ovations, like, every time he talked. And he was, like, coming more and more out of his shell. And I'm like, that man deserves that every time he walks into a room. Just a standing ovation. Because I'm glad, like, the real Star Wars fandom, not the neckbeards, are, like, give this, are giving this guy credit. Um... And it'll be really cool because he did wear the Vader suit for not a long time, for like only that scene in um, 
Revenge of the Sith. So it is good. And also, I'm really hoping we get to see him, like, when he's in, like, in Rogue One, where he's floating in that Bacta tank, and we see him, like, get the armor on. That's what I really want to see. Like, that's one of the major scenes I want to see, is, like, I just want to see Vader get armored up. I want to see how he puts on that costume. And, of course, he's got to have, like, the... You know this is going to happen, too, where the helmet comes down last. Um... And, of course, like, here's the other thing, though. They've talked a lot about Hayden Christensen coming back as Vader, but they haven't said anything about James Earl Jones voicing him. Um, I'm wondering how that is. Um, I'm wondering how that's going to play out, because, obviously, you need Jones for Vader. So they've been very, like, they haven't said anything, but maybe it just goes without saying that... Um, because Christensen's voice does not... Vader, he is not. Uh, Vader, voice-wise, he is not. But I am happy that he is going to be wearing the suit. I don't know how much of the suit Christensen's going to be wearing. I'm really unaware of how much. Maybe just for, like, the suit-up scene. But... And maybe some flashbacks here and there. But he does have the body size for Vader. Like, we have seen before, like, he does... Like, he has worn the suit in the past, and it's like, he has the the size for it. Now, again, I don't know how much of it will be him and a st or a stunt actor. That's going to be left up to debate. Um, I don't know. I know I've been talking about this, but I'm just really happy to see, like, Christensen finally get, like, some good direction. Sorry, Lucas. Um, and be able to be the Vader we wanted him we wanted to see in Revenge of the Sith. Like, that's what I... And, yeah. Um, I'm really excited for Deborah Chow taking over as showrunner for this. Uh, I think she has some of the best episodes in Mandalorian, and I really hope she gets more to do with Star Wars. Um, I think she does a lot of great in introspective episodes, and these are this is what I really want from the Obi Wan show because you have to understand that Obi Wan is kind of in not the best headspace right now. Um, his religion is dead. His um, best friend turned into a monster. Um, he's got to look after... The mainstay, and Erin McGregor did point this out, is that the main crux of this is um, Luke and Obi-Wan's relationship. And that's going to be the... And that's what I'm really excited to see of, like, more of that. And also, no Maul. Thank God, no Darth Maul. We, f we, we did that story. It's Twin Sons. It's probably the best episode in Rebels. Um, actually, I think one of the best. I still think that two-part uh, Saw Gerrera episode from um, Season 4 is probably the best. Anyway. Um, yeah, I just, uh, like, I'm just ha like, I'm just, like, I'm really excited to see that kind of introspective. Also, I'm still, I know they haven't said anything, and I think they're going to keep that quiet like they did with Luke in Mandalorian. I'm pretty sure we're going to get uh, Liam Neeson as Force Ghost Qui-Gon Jinn. I am 100% damn sure that we are going to be getting Force Ghost Qui-Gon Jinn in these, um, in the, in this episode, I, in this series. I really do think so. Um, now the other thing is, the question is, like, if Vader goes to Tatooine when young, when Luke is still there... I think, because I did see a quick thing of uh, the concept art, is that Obi-Wan and Vader are fighting on what looks like Mustafar again. So, did Obi-Wan leave uh, Tatooine to face Anakin, like, face Vader at his own home? Like, like did Obi-Wan go there to be like, I need to know if he's still in there? Or was it more like, was did Vader lure him out? Like, that's the question I'm wondering. Um... And I do have a feeling that this is going to be both not just Obi Wan's story, but also Vader's story as well. Um, yeah. So the scissor reel just got me excited. We, all, we it is definitely coming twenty. It has been announced. It is definitely coming out in twenty twenty two. I'm. This is the one show. Like I know. Also, they said rumored that Christensen will also be in um, the Ahsoka show. Which I'm like, all right, that's cool. I've, I've like Ahsoka has kind of run her course for me. I've talked about that before, um, and no fault of her own, sadly. Like, it, like I've talked about that before. I've talked at nauseum of why I think Ahsoka's kind of run her course in Star Wars, and kind of been overused, really. Um, I, I'm excited. 
I'm just excited for this show. I'm uh, like I ever uh, like. I'm also going to be glad to see like some other stuff outside of the Marvel content because yes, I have been. I loved what we. I've seen. I've loved everything that's come out from Marvel this year. But I kind of need a, a little break. I need a, a, just a. I know we had it. We were starved for content from Marvel and Star Wars, uh, from Marvel and all of that for a whole year. I know we were starved for that. I just need, and I'm really looking forward to Hawkeye and Spider Man. But like, I just need like a like something to divert from for a bit. I need to like wet my whistle on something other than Marvel. I'm I um. So I'm looking for like I am looking forward to Book of, Book of Boba Fett. Uh, even though I'm like, why do we need a Boba Fett show? Oh, right, because Boba Fett has fanboys. Um, I am looking forward to that, but 2022, uh, that's my most anticipated show. Obi-Wan, of course. So anyway, there you go, guys. You guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of... What did you guys think of uh, the uh, Obi-Wan sizzle reel? Are you guys, uh, when do you guys think we'll get a trailer? I imagine... I don't know when, because they just said 2022, but they haven't said when. So, I don't know when, but this will be exciting. But you guys just comment below, let me know, and once again, if you haven't already, go to hit the link below in my Patreon. We greatly appreciate We'll be getting some new videos out soon. So, uh, other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.